Sub shooters, my name is Logan, aka Spider Hands, and welcome to SP Patrons video today that I'm making for Woody for their monthly custom music review. And this track is from an act named Matt LV or Matt Live titled Fly. And if we switch over to here, we have the uh, track on, on Spotify. A lot of attention for these tracks, actually, especially Fly here. 400, 400k listens is, is a fair. Fair dinkum, mate. It's a good effort. Fresh Soul off the album Fresh Soul. We're going to be listening through this track from start to finish. And we're going to hear what we think. Let's go. Let's do this. Okay. It's spicy, it's palatable. Honestly, like, if we're being real here for a moment, I kind of like when the music just stops. I've heard reviewers say that when it kind of gets bluntly, like, just comes to a halt like that, it's a little bit off-putting and disconcerting. But I like when we have that kind of control over the different instruments in the mix. See what I mean? Very casual, calm tone to the vocals and the drums. They have a freshness, a precision to them. They sound nice and bright without being too over the top and, and exaggerated. There's a sort of a more analog, acoustic-ish acoustic -ish kind of tone to them that I appreciate. Oh, harmonies now. Okay, cool, cool. Ain't nobody try to hold me down. I dig it. I like the falsettos on the side as well. Lovely panning there. It's a fairly simple to understand sort of new age, new, new age funk is kind of jazzish kind of ornamentation. Uh, ornamentation? Or oh, harmony. Chord progression rather. Nobody, oh. I just wanna take you back to Ooh, my Ooh, that's sub bass resonance. If you got my ticket at your tower population, may be talking who that would chung out or my affection. Bringing that bass. Mm, there we go, that's the ticket. The, the waka waka with the guitars and that electric bass coming in with those uh, thumps there. The nice bit of attenuation and accent and going on there. Lots of character in this, you know, lots of character, lots to appreciate. Great layering of the piano as well. There is an additional part in this halfway point. It's like a barbershop quartet, isn't it? Except it's all his voice. What a talented individual this Matt LV is. Great. Fantastic reverb chains on the airy, kind of classy piano parts. With some 80s kind of synths going on, the pads, the whooshiness is welcome. Do the swagger to this, man. The swagger to this. The guy is hopping and a bipping and a bopping around the place without remorse. It's fantastic. Great filtering on those drums and nice come down. Is he, what, what language is he going between there? I hesitate, I'm not sure what that is. It's cool though. It's kind of nice to go between English so that someone like me can understand. <laughs> so that someone like me can understand it and to go between that and like um whatever the, the traditional like like not the traditional but like I, I don't know man like it's tricky i i both sound fluent give me a bullet that made of give me a bullet that made of what is love what is love what is love my baby, what is love? Are we all made of it or stay on it? What is love? 
what is love? Let's burn. These falsettos and the effects and modulation on those side chains or side panda parts, those additional overdubs, are spectacular. They're so resonant and uh, permissible, I think, in part because of how friendly they sound. There is a gentleness to it. The way they were act with the uh, the attack of the actual waveform isn't too sharp. So, uh, you know, that's way more effective to me. Uh, you know, it's it's too sharp if you go at it straight away. Mad Love, Mad OV, they're taking their time with it, and I appreciate the fact they're not trying to take the listener for too much of a ride. You're at the liquor, let's burn. We are the almost lovers, let's show on. I want to speak of love. Nobody could ever come and run. Let's burn. We fire at the liquor, let's burn. We are the almost lovers, let's show on. I wanna speak a love Nobody could ever come and run, run, run Oh Yeah, check it <laughs> I mean, let's talk about it Because this is the inclusion on my review of Fly by Mad OV or Mad Love First things first I love this song I think it sounds great It sounds nice and contemporary, modern without some of the trappings of contemporary music production where we're either trying to s s suffocate it so that everything's the same loudness, i.e. over compression or over limiting. And I feel as if despite the fact we have got a lot of like, you know, obviously the extensions, the, the, the jazzy sort of a seventh and, and, and beyond extensions are becoming a lot more commonplace in this kind of R&B stuff. But to be fair, they always have. It's it's like, I'm glad that we are rolling with like, for instance, the guitars, the, the slap, the electric bass, the, the acoustic drums with some gentle synth pad stuff there and the vocal modulation and the normal highs is just gorgeous. But more importantly, like maybe not more importantly, what I, what I think the song is about. What do I think the song is about? I think it's about someone who is in love with them and maybe they feel like they're in the clouds when they're with that person. They want this other one, their love interest to soar with them and to speak of love and for them to fly together and be a piece of one another and be able to share that connection. That is what I think this track is about at its, at its core, Fly by Man Love. I, I think that the way it's sung represents that story well, tonally it makes sense. It's a very mature performance here. We have a musician who understands how to talk to someone that they're into, you know, sense of intimacy from the performance there, like they're kind of not necessarily talking them into it, but trying to sort of persuade them, you know, it's like, isn't it the same thing? Suppose, is it the same thing talking someone into something is persuading? I suppose persuading, no, they're, they're the same thing. Let me let me take it back a step. Basically, I, th I think what they're trying to do here is just kind of sweet talk someone into it, you know? It's like, oh no, seriously, it'll be fine. Let's talk about love, you know? Um, beautiful melodies and harmonies here. We're not just rolling with the major and minor thirds. We're rolling with some second and fourths for a bit of brightness and neutrality there. But at the same time, it works well with the extensions and especially if there's some tricky parts of the arrangement we'll roll with some par parallel majors or minors we don't have to worry about it too much because even if there's a if we remove or substitute that icky kind of third in there from the root note um and replace it with a second or a fourth you can just add, add a little bit less angsty it's a bit more mysterious i suppose and a little bit sort of surreal and i i got nothing but love for that you know when i hear a musician not only tell a story that is like you know people can relate to to the, what they're talking about i think in this song but at the same time for it to be delivered so uh essentially but also i like the triplet flow that we had occasionally in the clean vocals and the chorus it's not like we're the first musicians to do it but it works in this situation and it's an authentic and interesting experience because of it um i, lo I wonder what the rest of the album would be like and i think that's exactly what you need from a first impression is to want to hear more the structure of this track was just a contemporary sort of structure with like you know, the intro and then like a verses and, and choruses in there. And and we had some um, we had some other sort of pseudo instrumental parts. We didn't have a lot of variety there. Like we had different voicings and stuff like that. And I mean, if we go check out a few different parts of it. I just... Again, we had the pianos coming in the midsection there, but brought a bit more sort of like misty sounding there with the ambient there and getting rid of those lows and we got a similar vibe to the first part and we've got an interlude there where we refrain kind of more similar to the hook section so it's just a reiteration or an ex uh, expansion on it, i suppose I, I don't know 
how to really describe it. But it works all the same. We don't need to over egg the pudding. We don't need to over complicate it. I think Matt did a fantastic job in regards to the structuring of it. Again, the, the motif and it is, yeah, we would definitely work in like, like a major seventh, like an A major seven to start with or something like that. And um, yeah, we, we, we played around with expectations a little bit. We're stuck, but mostly stuck within a key signature. This wasn't meant to be a typically, a terribly progressive sounding track. We weren't trying to sort of like make listener feel uncomfortable. We wanted a sense of sophistication that comes from those sevenths and beyond. There wasn't a lot of complexity to the actual bass line, like the bass line or the chord progression itself beyond the extensions. I think we wanted to keep it like to a three chord kind of thing or something like that. If there were any changes, it was due to the uh, extra parts played on the piano or something like that. Or the little bits where the bass guitar went beyond the root notes and explored the fretboard a little bit. The drums, the filtering on the drums is what made it special, I think. It, just having the different sort of voicings of it. And even if you had a simple beat, you know, getting rid of those lot high frequencies just to make it sound a bit more sort of muffled, but just to add a nice change to the airy piano parts is a smart move there. Any parts of like the synth and stuff were subtle. Um, we didn't need them to poke out too much, especially when you have these organic instrumental sort of ices going on here, despite the fact that the, the production value of the recording mixing mastering reminds me of a lot of the best stuff I've heard from the last few years. I think we've come to a place now, we've come out of the loudness war that we had in like the late 2010s and we've kind of strayed away from the path of really extreme heaviness with like the progressive middle and dubstep and stuff like that in the early 2010s. And I think now we're, we're kind of in a happy place I think where people are understanding the value of dynamic range. You know, because obviously like the EQing is fantastic, you know, each of the instruments is gained staged really well and sits well in the mix. There's a nice glow in between the elements, not just because of the compression limiting but also just the, the general mixing of it. In the stereo field everything has its set position here and some of the stuff gets really wide. I'm wondering if they used a stereo widener in the master chain or something like that but it was lovely to have that sort of being surrounded by that without it being too much or going too far it's finding that balance you know additional to that i i think i really enjoyed what was going on with like the reverb and effects change on the various instruments there you know we had some percussiveness when we needed to but other parts floated just like flying you know it's it's exactly what we needed that every single uh, part of this conclusion I'm hoping has illustrated why this track works. There's not a lot for me to personally complain about. I can understand why it's gotten attention and I can only hope that Metal V has more of it in the future. You know, it was nice and loud without pumping. I just think this is really respectful listener and a fantastic first impression. And that is effectively my uh, SP Patrons review of uh, Matt LV's Fly. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please do go show some love to Matt LV or love Matt Love via his various social medias and his Spotify page. Stay cool and stay safe and please remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time as either hell more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on in the world and I will catch you in the next review. Spider hands out.